Dances to Go is a collaboration of award-winning choreographers and talented performers. Our artistic backgrounds include dance, music, drama, and television. We have created fun and teachable routines for you and all of your students. Our choreography collection is easily downloadable online and is refreshed each season. Dance teachers, we offer downloadable choreography in ballet, jazz, lyrical, tap, and hip-hop. We even have choreography for preschool teachers. Like Dances to Go on Facebook and learn more at dancestogo.com. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Kiner Hour. Let's talk dance with Ashni and Fuko. I am your host, Ashni and Fuko, live from New York City on TalkingAlternative.com, and I'm here tonight with some fabulous ladies. Um, first, I have Taylor Gordon, who is a freelance ballet dancer and dance writer. And you're going to learn all about this phenomenal, dynamic young woman. I, I just can't even believe the things that she's accomplished at such a young age. And um, then we have some wonderful ladies from Dance New Amsterdam who are going to tell us all about their new um, summer youth dance program. So it's going to be a great show. So you should be excited about it. I hope you are somewhere excited. But anyway, Taylor, welcome. Hi. It's so good to have you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, so we've been trying to get you on this show now <laughs> for yeah. approximately, I don't even know how long. It's been a couple months. <laughs> oh, it's been crazy. Um, your teacher, Kat Wildish, came on, and um, she's a friend to the show and loves you and, like, mm -hmm. just, you know, says wonderful things about you but the first time you were supposed to come I think I got sick mm -hmm. which never happens <laughs> which was insane yeah. and then the second time our wonderful president yes. President Obama <laughs> was in town and caused lots of drama mm -hmm. for me <laughs> and um, getting to the station so it's, it's been crazy but anyway you're here now I'm here now and that's what matters very exciting. so I just want to tell everyone a, a little bit about you because I think that you are a dynamic individual and I've never said that about someone who's 22 years old. <laughs> well, thank you. In my life. <laughs> um, but you got your BA in Communication Arts and a Master's Degree in Publishing by the age of 20. How in the world, how did that happen? And all the while you were still <laughs> dancing. You got to break dancing. it down. Come on, break it down. Let's see. Well, I went to high school actually in Philadelphia at the Rock School of Pennsylvania Ballet, mm -hmm. and they had a kind of go-at-your-own-pace uh, academic program. So I actually graduated from high school when I was 16. Wow. Um, and then I came to New York. I was at Marymount Manhattan College, and just I'm a dork, and I love being <laughs> in school. So I took a whole bunch of extra classes, dancing full-time as well, training 30 hours a week oh at least up, up at Ballet Academy East mm -hmm. um, uptown. And so I did summer classes, and they had a January session, and so I finished finished my undergrad when I was 19, and my last semester of that overlapped with my first semester of grad school that I got credits counted for both. Mm -hmm. um, so then I finished grad school the following December. So I was 20 when I finished my master's. That's unbelievable. <laughs> it was like, a little crazy. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> now Maybe. I think so. At the time, it made total sense to me. Yeah, but you were just I'm in like, it. How on earth did I do that? Oh, my goodness. And all the while you're dancing. So yes. let, let's see here. I, I took some stuff off of your website. Mm -hmm. You danced for the Radio City Christmas Spectacular, which is one one of my favorite shows, by the way. <laughs> um, Exit 12 Dance Company, Rebecca Kelly Ballet, Ballet for Young Audiences, New American Youth Ballet, Push Factor Dance Company. Um, I'm going to stop there because this is only an hour show. <laughs> um, but it's it's like insane. And then you just recently got offered a contract with the Metropolitan yes, Opera Ballet. just this past week. So it's very exciting. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, know where to, I don't know where to begin with you. Like, I have questions and stuff, but it's just like... I, I don't even know you what know, to I've say. Just, I've been very lucky to work with a lot of amazing people and amazing stages in New York and amazing choreographers and directors. And I'm still trying to work with more people and do more, and I always want more. So That's great. And you never, like, get comfortable because I see your Facebook posts. It's gone. And it's like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this show. You like? Didn't you make, like, a whole, I don't know if it's a fan it page an event, or so. an event, <laughs> Taylor's performances 
I like, have, mostly there's so I do, many. I do things like that for myself to keep my own head organized. It's crazy. Because it's literally, some, especially this past season has been extra busy, and I've had something almost every week or multiple things per week. Yeah, it's, um, it's really, so. um, it's insane. But you're a dance writer. Yes. You've written for some of the biggest dance magazines out there, <laughs> Dance Teacher, and uh, you can tell me which magazines. Yeah, There's well, so I actually, many. I interned um, at Point Magazine when I, my first semester of college, or second semester, I guess, of college, um, and since then, I've just, I've always loved to write, um, but that sort of started me off getting a couple clips under my belt, and then mm -hmm. from there, it's just grown, and it's snowballed, and I just did a big article, actually, for a magazine called M Life Publications, mm -hmm. which is the custom publication of uh, the MGM Grand Hotels in Las Vegas, so it's all wow. those hotels magazines that you see when you go there unfortunately I didn't get to go there Aww, but, well, <laughs> but I wrote pretend. a really a really great big article and I, they sent me a hard copy and it looks fantastic they had pictures of all the shows that uh, the dance shows in Las Vegas wow. so yeah it was really great so That's that was the most recent great. article um, I appreciate your humility <laughs> but I saw um, an article on the Huffington Post um, that featured you yes. and the writer Jordan Zacharin yes. I believe mm -hmm. um, this is how he explained you which I thought was fantastic because I'm like this is exactly <laughs> like she's crazy she's amazing <laughs> so it says um, at a young age Taylor Gordon has seen it all a freelance dancer Gordon is a 22 year old pirouetting blaze of energy accomplishment and aspiration for the past two years she featured um, she's been featured in the Radio City Christmas Spectacular logging 17 shows a week as a member of the Constantly Moving Ensemble. That, in addition to working with other dance companies, taking several classes a day, running a prominent blog, oh, and earning both her undergrad and graduate <laughs> degrees. Suffice it to say she's known a lot of dancers in her life. I mean, you're 22, <laughs> gosh darn it. Age what is, is not, going on? This is I don't like, ever think of age as any kind of issue. It was kind of cool when I was young and I had a master's when degree. When I was young, she <laughs> says, Lord, help me. Younger. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let me pull it together. Sorry. Um, how, how do you do it? Let's just, I'll, that's, I'll, that'll be my first There's question. There's just so much that I want to do, and I just, I really have a passion for performing, and mm -hmm. it just doesn't stop. And what it'll, I'll do whatever it takes to get it done. and I believe that. Really, it's just I want it bad enough that I'll work as hard as I need to for it. No, and, yeah. I, and I agree with you because clearly getting to where you are at this point in your life, like it didn't come because you were sitting around on the couch Not eating potato all. chips, <laughs> watching So You Think You Can Dance on television and saying, yeah, maybe one day I'll be on. It's mm. like, no, you can't you've been just doing wish. it. You have, to, you have to work at it. How especially. do you balance everything? Like... I, it has to get stressful sometimes. It's very stressful, <laughs> and you kind of, lately I've been pushing the limits of being late to places and leaving early <laughs> places, because oh I have to be so a lot places. of different rehearsals and different things and stuff, but I don't know, it's kind of trial and error to find the balance. I've definitely been through different phases that have been more busy or less busy, and then everything seems to always happen at the same time, either always. all good things or all bad things. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Um, but somehow it all works out, and just, you know, a lot of coffee. <laughs> Cool. Do you have a Starbucks card or something? I do. Okay, great. <laughs> those, my latte. those are good. Yeah. Um, Kat, who I said is, is a great friend to the show, mm -hmm. Kat Wildish, how has she kind of um, inspired you? Very quickly, we're going to go take a break yeah, in a moment. She's, she's really like a mother to me in the good and the bad. Um, but she really has, since I've been in New York, I started her taking her class the first day that I got in New York City, and wow. it just was hooked. And she's really been a mentor to me and done amazing things for me, and I can't thank her enough for everything. Aw, we love you, Kat, wherever you are. <laughs> um, all right, so Taylor... I got tired just listening <laughs> to you and listing all the things that you're doing. So we're going to take a break yep. so that I can like revamp and rejuvenate <laughs> myself. Yep. And uh, when we come back, I want to just talk about what you have going on now and okay. what your plans are. And you can give some advice to some young aspiring dancers out there who okay. probably want to be you right now, basically. <laughs> but anyway, stay tuned, guys. You want to enhance your company's web presence with an eye-catching and unique website design? Would you like to incorporate professional video marketing? or mobile marketing into your organization's marketing campaign? Mission 101 Media offers a unique marketing experience that will set you apart from your competitors, magnify your brand exposure, and enhance your current marketing efforts. Their services include video production and editing, web design, graphic design, photography, social media management, and now introducing mobile marketing. Their motto is we do whatever it takes to make our clients happy. Contact them today at mission101media.com. 
Would you like to advertise your company's products or services on the Kiner Hour? Become one of our sponsors and get extensive online promotion and advertising for your business. Email info at kinerenterprises.com for more information on our affordable and competitive sponsorship packages. Businesses of all types are welcome. Kiner Enterprises Inc. is the leader in dance consulting, dance resources, and innovation through multimedia. We provide dance studio owners with social media marketing, training, and coaching, dance teacher staffing consulting, and offer extensive resources to dance teachers and dance professionals through the Kiner Enterprises Inc. Dancers Blog online community. If you're a dance teacher looking for work, we can help. If you're looking for ways to grow or expand your dance career or dance business, join our online community for dance professionals today. Check out our online articles, videos, ebooks, and presentations and get access to the resources that you've been looking for. Join the Kiner Enterprises Inc. Dancers Blog community today by going to kinerenterprisesincblog.com and click on sign up. That's it. It's free, quick, and easy. Kiner Enterprises Inc. Making the dance world a better place every day.